Hey everyone! Oh, look at Reese. You're on here already. Hey everybody. Thank you so much for coming over to the live today. We're gonna wait for some more people to get on right now before we start. But welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy that y'all are here. Um Tonight we're going to be doing a glam with some of my Charlotte Tilbury products and just, you know, having a chit chat and talking. So, hey, Nay, excited. Hi, Amelia, Andy, Leslie, Reese. Y'all, I had, I had the craziest day today. So this is like ter therapy for me. <laughs> if y'all know what I went through today, let me know how y'all day was before we get started. What we done some more people to join. How was y'all day? How are y'all doing? Let me know. My day was so hectic. It was so busy. It was hot. Um, but I'm so happy to be here with y'all. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Amelia. Nay, you had an amazing day. I love that for you. I love that. I can't say the same, but I love that. You go, girl. And you say it with a lot of exclamation points. So I feel like it was really amazing. How how was everyone else's day? Andy and Reese. How was y'all day? And let me know where y'all checking in from because I already see the Bahamian, I mean the Bahamas flag. Yes, I already know. Like y'all here. But let me know where some of the rest of you checking in from. Miss Dway, also from the Bahamas. The Shay Slay up in the building. The eyes look good, y'all. Thank you. Hi, Gigi. See, we got the we got the Bahamas out and we got trail. We got the Bahamas out in full force tonight, as y'all should be. This is why. Hey, look at this. That's why I love y'all. So I go out tonight and we're just going to get ready. I'm going to show you how I prep my skin, some of my techniques, and some of my tips. Look at all the Bahamian flags. That's why I love y'all. Gigi, I miss the way. Thank you so much, Mama Sita. Anyway, y'all, I'm so excited to start with y'all tonight. Charlotte Tilbury is like one of my absolute favorite and dream brands. I love them so much that I had this opportunity was amazing. And to share it with y'all is even more amazing. So, Let's get started. Um, we're going to start with skin prep. As y'all can see, my eyes are already done. I did them before this session because we're going to be focusing on our face and our skin and taking care of our skin and the importance of proper skin prep before starting your makeup to ensure that it lasts and for the longevity of your makeup and stuff like that. Because, you know, like for me, I have oily skin. So skin prep is extremely important. If I don't prep, I love y'all too. Oh, my God. If you don't prep your skin properly, you're gonna experience separation, you're gonna experience your makeup melting off, you're gonna experience just your makeup not laying like as you as you want it to, especially if you wear more full coverage, meaning that you know you have more product on your face. So if you have more product, you're gonna to wanna to especially skin prep to protect your skin and to especially finish off properly. So that's why we're using Charlotte Silbury's products today. Um, and I'm gonna show you how it works, what I love, what you can get this holiday, and you know, let's just chat and have fun. So I'm going to start off first and foremost with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Now, y'all, this is legit magic in a, in a jar, okay? It is an amazing hydrating product. I love it so much. It's made with great ingredients. It's super hydrating to the skin. It gives your, your skin such a great base and a gripping base for your makeup to last. Now, if you have oily skin, even though it's a moisturizer, you don't have to worry about it being like overly greasy or causing your makeup to slip and slide. When I say this thing absorbs into your skin so well, it absorbs into your skin and it helps with skincare. It has skincare inside of it as well. So while it's prepping your skin for makeup and making you all glowy and stuff like that, it's also providing like skincare benefits to your skin. So if you have skin ailments like uh, dry skin, dullness, uh, pores, this helps with all of that. Come on. Let me pin the inches back because we can't afford to get makeup in the inches, okay? We can't afford to get makeup in the inches. What are some of y'all favorite moisturizers to moisturize your skin with? Even though I'm showing you this, I would still like to know some of the things that you guys use. And maybe y'all can put me on as I put y'all on. So this is Charlotte Tilbury Moisturizer. It is an award-winning coveted moisturizer beloved by so many and it gives you such a great glow to your skin it helps with the longevity of make your makeup and you all know me i am a skincare junkie so for me anything that has skincare while making my makeup look good i'm here for it i carry it under my eyes and i really press it into my skin moisture is so important when it comes to doing your makeup i don't care what type of skin you have you can have oily, you can have combo, you can have dry. Everyone needs to moisturize their skin and give it the hydration that it needs. So when makeup lays on top, it doesn't just sit on top, but it actually like 
blends into your skin well. We don't want makeup that just sits on the surface and look like, you know, it's not giving us the look we want, you know? We want to look like a different person. We want that to look like skin. And moisturize, I find that moisturizing my skin, even though I have oily skin, really helps with the longevity of my makeup. Because if you didn't know, let me be a, a little educator right now. If you didn't know, when your skin is overly dried and you put uh, makeup on top of it, your skin then kicks into like hyperproduction of oil. So if anything, your skin is going to produce more oils because it's so overly dehydrated because you didn't prep it properly. And plus, you're now kicking it up with makeup and powders and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of your skin. And y'all know I'm a skincare nerd. So moisture, I don't care what type of skin. That's it. Trell for sure. All right, let's see. Wait. It is important to moisturize the skin. As I said, I don't care what type of skin you have. You start your makeup routine with a moisturizer. Then, you know, you go in with your serums. If you use serums, if you extra like me, I'd be using the serums. If you use your SPF, but for sure, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is amazing. It is an amazing product. I would definitely recommend it for any skin type, especially, especially, especially for mature skin. It is a great product. So now I'm just really rubbing that into my skin. You don't want to just let the product sit on top of your skin. You want to really massage it into your skin. Like give yourself a little facial, you know. It's probably the closest I'm going to get to spa in a while. So make it last. Okay, and I rub that into my skin. And look at the glow it gives me. My skin looks super hydrated, super plump, super ready for our next step. If you're looking for a different uh, product to use, opposed to a magic cream, you can also use the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner. Toners are good, especially moisturizing toners that give you a glow or they add hydrating um, properties. They have hydrating properties and add moisture to your skin. So Charlotte Tilbury also has a glow toner that is amazing for the skin. And they also come with, the magic cream also comes in a set. So you can get this along with other prepping items that come inside of a skincare set if you're interested. If you don't just want the cream, you want to try other things from the brand, definitely check this out. So the Glowing Skin Starter Set is something else that you can look into if you want this magic cream. It doesn't just come by itself. You have the discount comes with the magic serum. Now, when I say the magic serum is something everybody, everybody in their ma trip over, the magic cream, this set comes with the magic cream. It's the four magic steps to hydrated glowing skin. Magic cream, a mini magic cream. It comes with a glow oil. It comes with a glow toner and it comes with a magic serum. This would be your four step process to ultimate glowing, well prepped skin for makeup. So if you are skincare, like, like skincare girlies check in, like do y'all really take care of your skin before y'all do y'all makeup? See, I still add product because when I say it just makes your skin feel so velvety smooth and so moisturized, it just makes me feel luxurious. Like, I was going to lay in some silk sheets after this. I just love it. It's just an amazing product. And this bundle is a limited edition kit. Um, it's available for ho the holiday purchases if you're interested. But definitely my two favorite products of this would have to be the Glow Toner and this Magic Cream. Because this is an all-around, a well-rounded product. Great. has many benefits, amazing properties. So if you're interested, mm -hmm, then check this out. Now let me know, because I said a lot of things so far. Ooh, I don't want to be late. I said a lot of things so far. What is one thing that you have learned so far? I just could keep doing check-ins with y'all and make sure y'all still checked in with me. I need to know y'all checked in. What is one thing that you've learned so far when it comes to moisturizing the skin that you have learned? Let me know inside the comments before we move on to our next step, which is prepping for foundation. So what is one thing you learned? Drop it in the chat as we move on. Okay, so now we're going to prep now, before I do my base, let me tell you all the secret because a lot of people be like, Daria, how do you get, not all at once now, because I don't see no one in the chat typing, not all at once. Not all at once now. <laughs> people always ask me, Daria, how do you get your base so glowy? How do you get it looking glowy from the outside? Because as you know, I don't use, or if you didn't know, I don't use a lot of the powdered highlighters, like the ones that you, you know, the shimmer ones. I don't use those because I feel like they don't give me that glowy skin. Let's take a pause. Nay. That is super important, especially if you're wearing heavy makeup. Agreed. If you are, nothing is wrong with wearing heavier makeup. If you are full coverage girly, you are full coverage girl. If you are a dewy skin finish type of girly, you're a dewy skin finish type of girl. doesn't matter which end of the spectrum you're on. Moisturization is key. I learned that moisturizing skin is important, especially for age person. Yes, if you are a makeup artist or, you know, you just, you have mature skin yourself or you have a mother or someone with mature skin, Moisturizing is so important, especially with mature skin, because if you cake too much things on, you know, at a 
when you um, when you have matured skin you are you have more lines you have more fine lines you have more wrinkles and that is a beautiful thing you know it comes with the age it's wisdom to me if you have these things moisturizing your skin especially with um, products that have like hyaluronic acid it helps the plump and it helps with longevity and makeup longevity of your makeup and it prevents even further creasing when it comes to your makeup so moisturizing is so important i recommend this product like my mother is going to love this so much i know she's on here she's going to love this product because it just has so many so many benefits not just for my skin but for hers as well so let's read some um, I learned that whether your skin is oily or dry, you need to moisturize. Yes, very important. All skin needs moisture. Moisture is not just for dry skin. It helps with pre preventing makeup from moving. Yes, it helps it from moving, separating, and it prevents your skin from having to overcompensate for not having sufficient oils and going into overdrive and have you pattern and oil and pattern and pattern and pattern all day. So if something is in balance on equilibrium, if your skin is in balance on equi equilibrium, it won't need to go into overdrive and producing extra oils because it thinks, oh, our skin is thirsty, let's do some more. No, we're going to be set. We want to keep our skin balanced. So back to the glowy skin tank. When people ask me, Dara, how do you get your skin so glowy? You don't use the powder highlighter. I don't like the shimmery highlighters and I'm not against it, but it's just not for me because I like I like natural looking skin. That's me, I'm a dewy skin girl. I'm a semi-matte to dewy skin girl. I'm not a full coverage girl. So what I love to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Now I have a mini one because they literally didn't have my shade in a bigger size. I love this product. It is a staple to me. Y'all have seen me use it in so many of my videos. Sometimes I use it on my, all of my face if I'm going out. But most times I would just put it in the high points of my face. Sometimes I wear this as a foundation only because like daytime, if I want like a five minute face, it does provi provide some level of coverage, but it doesn't uh, provide full coverage. And it's not really a buildable product, but it does like pack on that glow. So are you, let me ask you on the chat. Are you more of like a a matte girl or are you more like a dewy skin finish type of girl let me hear your thoughts because for me baby i want to glow to the gods i want you i want you to see me from mars like i want people in mars to see me so what i do is i place it on the high points of my face like this i hope you're writing these down i place it on the high points of my face like this and i just press it into my skin yes we, we do so it depends on my mood I like that. I like that. Some days, I don't know. I never feel that one. Depends on my mood. Matte but glowy. So you're like a semi-matte type of girl. GG. I'm more of a matte girly. I don't want it to move. Okay. So I put this on the high points of my face. And y'all remember this trick because if y'all want that glow without needing highlighter or adding an extra additional um, layer of makeup, try this. So I add the glows to the high points where I normally would use a highlighter, like in these areas right here. So I put it here. Here. And I just put that in that in just like this. And I let that sit into my skin. Let that really soak into my skin. This product absorbs so easily, but look at that. Now, when we put foundation over that, that's gonna be so beautiful. But the flawless filter, this is coveted. If you go, if you go on TikTok, if you go on Facebook, Instagram, anywhere, and you see this product. Everyone has amazing reviews about it. It's great for all skin types. So I'm gonna let you vote between the two products that I showed so far and let me know which is your favorite. So the poll is gonna show up on your screen right now. You can click which one you vote for for me. Now the Magic Cream is a great product now. She's a great product, but I love me some Flawless Filter here. I love me the Flawless Filter. So you can go ahead and vote. Okay, I'm going to allow you to vote right now. I'm just going to finish putting this into my skin. Flawless filter. That is it. That is all. That is like one of my absolute favorite, favorite products of this um brand. I love this flawless filter. Get it. Like if you don't get anything else from this live, baby, get this. This is for you. And they have the mini versions. They also have the large versions. Um, I would get a live, but when I say they're always sold out because they are such great products, you check it out. Check it out. Okay, so now I'm going to just apply some foundation to my face. Now for Charlotte Tilbury's foundation, I love the flawless found flawless filter foundation. It is just like the flawless uh filter product that I just showed you this one but it's the foundation now this foundation does have great coverage but it's also like really 
glowy it gives you a glowy finish so for my girls who say you know i want to be matte but i also want to be glowy this is for you okay like i want to i want my makeup to last i want my makeup to last now but i also want um a glowy skin look for me i don't mind um a matte look but i feel like when it comes to foundation finding that right foundation that has that good balance between it is what has set me off has made me crazy so foundation like my base is my favorite part of my application what about y'all like i have a friend her favorite part of a whole application is her brows if her brows aren't done right she is not she's not continuing on so what is your favorite part throughout your process you have some people who prefer brows you have some people who prefer like the contouring your nose is like it's so satisfying or contouring their cheeks and bringing that cheekbones but for me it is my skin like my base is my absolute this one Gigi said eyes like she got right into it she said eyes for me it's a base girl i'm a base girl okay i am all about that base about that base no trouble babes no trouble brows for sure brows for sure base for me yes we are a base girly we have what shade do i get in the flawless filter so if you go on the web on the charlotte tilbury website they're gonna have the entire set out of their range and they have an amazing range in this foundation and you can also like read the they have the uh descriptions of all the foundation as in if it's tan olive undertone if it's cool if it's warm if it's medium so you can check that out and they'll definitely it, it's very accurate so you can check it out and you can't go wrong with that I love a good arch on the brows. Girl, I love me a good arch. Okay, and you can see my eyebrows are naturally up and down, but when I see the girlies be arching their brows up, eating it up, I love that. Base girly for me, brows. I'm a caramel, I'm like caramel frap. Hmm. Okay, so we we gonna check that out after. Hit me up after. We're gonna check that out after. Brows for me. So when it comes to brows, right? Because y'all can see I have more like a feathered brows. Are you more of like a oh? a bold brow girl are you more like a feathered girl like are you in your soft girl era like soft girl era brows or are you more, more like i'm a bold girl i'm a bold strong confident woman like your brows tell a story because a lot of girls here saying they're a brow girl say i'm a bold like she got straight to it i'm a bold girl okay so pause as y'all can see that flawless filter has my skin looking like a mirror like you can see my legit reflection inside of this like my my skin the flawless filter is so amazing. It just gives you the perfect amount of, it's not a sheen, but it gives you like this radiance that I absolutely, absolutely love. When I used to do makeup, I used to use this on all of my clients because it just gave me that prep that when I, whatever foundation you rest on top of this, it's going to shine through, baby. You won't need to pack on extra product for a highlighted look. It's just going to give you that natural sheen. And I absolutely love that. Sorry, I was referring to my foundation shade. Oh, okay, okay. Soft, my but my brows are naturally filled, thick and dark. Okay, so you got it good, cause my brows are sparse, and I gotta be putting in some work and doing some construction on these brows, girl. But I'm really like a a softer brow type of person. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to concealer, and now I'm using the airbrush. Flawless, no, sorry, Beautiful Skin Concealer. This one is like more of a sheer coverage concealer. Um, so for me, I have creasy under eyes. I don't know about y'all. If under y'all eyes crease like mine. When I say I have creasing, I get creasing to the gods. I be praying when I be putting on my, uh, my concealer under my eyes because if I use something that's too heavy under my eyes, it's going to definitely like sag and you're gonna see it throughout the day, like like two to three hours of wear and tear in my makeup, especially under my eyes show first. But this concealer is such an amazing lightweight, but gives you coverage. You don't feel it under your eyes. So I just pat that under my eyes and I try to avoid going up. So this is a tip. If you have creasy under eyes like I do, avoid taking the product straight up under your eye, like in that lash line area. I don't do that. Some people could take it, some girlies can take it, but for me, I can't. <laughs> They're going to fold, baby. They're going to fold down. So what I do is I just pat some under my eyes, and it really gives you such a nice coverage, but also is so lightweight. Your eyes don't feel dry, and it's very hydrating. Remember I talk about that moisture? When you want that skin soft look, moisture is key. And this concealer is such... One second. This concealer... Girl, why are you calling me? This concealer is such a nice um, finish, has such a nice finish because not only is it hydrating to the under eyes, but it gives you such a such great coverage while doing that. Soft my brows are naturally, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm just patting this under my eyes. Uh, when it comes to under eyes, I am not a bright under eye girl, but I know that's the trend right now. So are y'all like bright under eye or are y'all like a more natural finish? Because for me, the bright under eye be cute, but I'd be a little scared of flashback, you know? Like I know some of the girls have mastered the bright under eye. Say both of them. <laughs> I know some girls have mastered the bright under eye, but for me, it's like, I be a little intimidated when I get into that that low light. You know, the low light be scary, maybe trying to avoid it. But I know it's possible. But let me know. Natural finish. See, I feel like the natural finish is a bit safer. So I'm going to let y'all vote. Take a break right now and let y'all vote. Let's just take a quick break and let y'all vote which product so far has piqued your interest. Um, For me, I think it's still going to be the Hollywood Flawless Filter because you all know I'm a junkie for that. I love it. I love, 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 love it. But I want to know what y'all what y'all think. What is y'all vote? Natural finish, of course. Now, I ain't hitting the girlies. Now, I ain't hitting the girlies who be with that bright under eye because they, they be looking like a Mona Lisa. They be looking like a work of art when I see the light to dark. I be a little jealous sometimes. But for me, I just a play it safe kind of girl. Like, I sure my makeup going to look good in any type of lighting <laughs> when I got this natural under eye going on. Like, I got a little highlight now, but she ain't too dramatic. But guess what? All that I say... All that I gone on with, guess what? I still get out just a little bit, just a little. Let's do like a, is there a, a middle ground? Is there like a semi-bright under eye? Because if it is, I'm going to do it right now. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. And with the Radiant uh, Finish Concealer, even though it's not a full coverage concealer, you're still able to build it up to the coverage that you want. And you won't have that creasy look because it's such a hydrating product. It just melts completely into the skin. It doesn't give you, you won't look cakey. You know, we don't like that cakey look because it's not, it's not the vibe, you know. But uh, bright under eye is possible with this concealer as well if you just gently build up your coverage. And you could just use a lighter shades. And this product comes in a, um, a variety of shades from light to darker skin, medium skin tones. Tone, so you don't have to worry about a limited line. You're definitely going to find your shade on there. So as you can see, I blend that out and I just brought my face forward. I love, love, love a great concealer. I don't know. If you bake according to your undertone, you should be great. That is also a great point. I feel like a lot of people just grab one color powder and just, I'm going to bake under these eyes. What? I'm going to have this bright. But when it comes to baking, it's so important that you, because if you're like, cool, so imagine this. Hold on. You're a little excited, Dario. Imagine this. Imagine you're a cool tone person, meaning you have more like a yellow neutral undertone, but you're using a warm powder to bake. That is going to be so obvious under your eyes. That's not going to blend well with your foundation at all. Or you're a really, really dark chocolate melanated queen, but you're using like a, a very cool tone when you have a warm tone or a white powder because I've seen people do it. They use like white, very, very light powders under the eye thinking that it'll give them a brighter under eye, but it's really going to just cause a flashback it's going to alter the shade of your foundation underneath it's going to um alter how you set it's just not going to be the vibe and that's not what we want okay um but for concealers there's also another concealer if you are someone that prefers like <laughs> say ashy now i don't want to use that word they look similar you know but it, i don't i don't want to say they look ashy it's just not the best look um i believe uh, in things i know everyone doesn't believe in having that whole natural appearance because people be like if i spend some money i want to look different but maybe that's a little too different for me when i see under eyes like really really excessively bright um i worry like i said about the low light i worry about flashback L listen i learned that the hard way look like a ghost let me tell you all i have my horror stories as well okay i wish i could have a green screen feature on here i would have showed y'all how i looked i recently showed it on my tiktok Girl, how I looked and I thought I was killing it, okay? You couldn't tell me I wasn't killing it. I, under my eye, under my umbrella, babes, <laughs> kind of looked so wrong. It didn't look right. It didn't look right. But you couldn't tell me. Say, I tried baby powder for one time. <laughs> baby powder, girl, you risky. Tina, Tina's laughing, like, but for real, that was a situation for me, okay? And as y'all can see, y'all, under my eyes do not look heavy down. They do not look creasy. My skin still looks so beautiful with that flawless filter, and it still looks so like a skin finish with the magic cream. It doesn't matter what foundation you use, you know. It's how you prep your skin. How you prep your skin, skin is so, so, so essential to how your base will come out. I don't care what type of skin you have. Skin prep is so Man, y'all going off in this chat, man. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> don't 
don't laugh at me. I really thought I was killing the game. But my skin looks so, so ready. And it still looks really great. Even with us adding foundation. Even with us adding concealer. Our skin still looks really breathable. It still looks very, very radiant. And, it, and we do have, like, great coverage going on. Now, I don't have a lot of dark marks or pigmentation anymore. But the Flawless Filter Foundation gives you excellent coverage while giving you a radiant finish. You don't have to worry about Because, you know, most sheer or lightweight, it's giving professional crawl. Now, now, don't tell me that now. Don't tell me that. It's giving... Thank you. Most sheer um, coverage foundations or light. It doesn't cover dark marks as well, especially someone, a person of color. Um, pigmentation is something that I am prone to. So a foundation that covers that without me needing to color correct or use an excessive amount is an amazing product I think anyone should invest in. Like it's a great, great product. And it just gives you such an amazing blank canvas. I love foundations that deal with my skin concerns underneath. So if it blurs my pores... That is one thing that I look for. Things that are blurring, things that help with minimizing my pores, things that help with minimizing the appearance of my dark marks or completely removing it. So it can appear full coverage, even though it isn't full coverage, but that's just because the formula is so, so, so amazing. Okay? So now we're going to move on to our uh, last step, which is just setting my face. And then we're going to talk a little bit about lips. And yeah, we're going to show you how you can... As you can see on the screen, the flawless filter, it comes in eight, it comes in about eight shades, I believe. It comes in a few shades. But as you can see, they have shades for everybody. And when I say this, it'll have you glowing to the gods. Girl, you're gonna forget how powdered highlight. How you, you gonna be like, you've never been to heaven, have you? You're gonna have such an amazing base. You're gonna never look back to powder highlighters. And probably just for like the inner corners. Like we allow for the inner corners of like eyes. But put it on your face, baby. This this is taking the place. This is taking my throne. So I'm going to let you vote. We're going to start a poll. When ordering, what's the best way to tell which shade to order for to match your skin perfectly? As I said on the website, they have a description. They also have photos up with the models modeling the product. So you can look on the website and you can check the models and see how their faces you know, match yours. You can read the description based on the products that they have. If it's for medium tones, darker tones, cooler tones, warmer tones, whichever. Also, what I like to do Girl, go on TikTok because Charlotte Tilbury is everywhere on TikTok. Go on TikTok and you type in flawless filter or flawless foundation and they're going to show you a range of people. Their products, everyone is so raved about. You're going to find someone your shade or close to your shade and you're going to be able to bounce off that and be like, okay, Daria is this shade. Um, Sheila is this shade. Uh, Susie is this shade. I'm going to just one, two, one, two. And you're going to find your shade. I promise you this. I'm off topic, but I was here from day one. I'm so happy to see you working one of your dream brands. I know I am so grateful for this opportunity. Okay, I'm sorry, off topic. Is Flawless Filter like a luminizer? Yes. The Flawless Filter is like an illumin, um, illuminate, illumin, that word. Mm -hmm. And you also have the Flawless um, Foundation. So there are two separate products. One is a Flawless Filter that I use underneath on my skin prep. And the Flawless Foundation is what, you use, what I use as foundation on top. So as you can see, I had good coverage. As you can see, my skin is still radiant, but that's because the two products blended so well together. I absolutely love, 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 love them. Okay, thanks, Dara Dara, because a girl, Dara Dara, I like that. Because a girl be scared to order makeup. I agree. I have had my horror stories when trying to order complexion products online, especially as a person of color, because, girl, the shade ranges are so crazy sometimes that you be needing that extra help. So I would say go on TikTok, definitely. Look at some of the products that they have there. Look at some of the people that use the products and... You're going to be straight, okay? So now I'm just going to quickly set and then we're going to move on to our lips and finalizing any like finishing touches on our makeup, setting our makeup. I'm going to show you how you're going to get your makeup to last the entire, the entire day. And this is my absolute favorite, favorite setting powder and setting spray duo. So the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what it called? Setting spray. <laughs> I got excited talking about this product because I this is tried and true. I have tried this product. I have tested this product out. And this has never, ever. I like that brush. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I know absolutely nothing about makeup. Makeup. Stay it for the personality the vibes in here are unbeatable. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all so much for coming on. I appreciate I appreciate y'all. So to finalize my makeup, to set my makeup, I usually use this throughout my application. But... 
when I say just one spray of this is going to change your life, y'all listen to me. Listen to me. Let me tell you something. But before we move on, hold on. Let's take a breaky break. What have y'all learned so far that, you know, you're going to implement inside of your makeup routine? What have y'all learned? What, what are going to be some of y'all takeaways? Any part will do. Just I just want to let y'all learn something that it helped y'all. What do y'all learn? Let me hear inside the chat while y'all also vote. I'm going to let y'all vote. Which is y'all favorite product so far? Um, Flawless filter always wins for me. She's just a beauty. But what are some things that you have learned so far during my makeup um, that you probably didn't know, that you already knew, that you're going to take? If you want to give me some recommendations, let me know what are your favorite, favorite, favorite makeup tips. Probably some of the ones that you gatekeep so you could be like, yeah, girl, I do this. Let me know what are some of y'all products come through since I want my makeup last forever. Girl, girl, she's going to last forever with this. But I just want to have some feedback from y'all. What have y'all learned? What are some recommendations that you have for me? What are some things that you want me to try doing my makeup that has changed your life? Let me know. Not all at once now, not all at once. Y'all want this set and spray information or not? Get to typing. I've learned that I'm going to need the whole kit. As you should, queen. Put it on your wish list. Put it on the wish list. Put it on the wish list. That's all you. What else? What else? What else? Because there, there's some more. Come on, come on. Tina, Tina. Tina, Andy Star, let me hear from y'all. What are some things that you have learned? What are some things that you want me to know? Put me on, girl. Put me on to y'all tips and techniques. But let's get started on this setting spray. Okay, so this is the Air Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This setting spray is an all day, all night type of wear setting spray. It gives you, it's called Party All Night, Stay All Day. This product, I love this product so much. I usually use it if I know I'm going out for a longer night, a longer period of time. I usually use this product throughout my makeup application. That is also a tip. If you have like oilier skin or you realize like after about four or five hours, your makeup starts to separate or move, I would definitely say, girl, how could we not do a blush, girl? I would definitely say try this product and try using your setting spray throughout your application. That has changed my makeup game forever. And I drenched my face in this. And let me show y'all my newest gadget I got, y'all. I got a fan and I just literally dry this onto my skin. And when I say my makeup does not move all day, it is on. It just sets everything into place. It locks everything into into place. All of the like the sweating, you won't sweat much. Outside elements and heat doesn't really cause your makeup to budge or move with this. I love this. It definitely does what it says. Party all night. Stay all day. You can put this on. And you know how some people sleep in their makeup, which I don't recommend. So I hope none of y'all do it. But you can put this on. You definitely can make up with make, wake up with makeup on in the morning and wear that makeup again because it just gives you that much of a locked-in makeup face. Like, I love this product. I learned that I need to find a setting powder for my warm skin tone. That is amazing. Can't wait to see that makeup routine elevate. I use mine for wigs. <laughs> I use mine for wigs. Girl, I love this little thing. You see how quickly I dried it into my skin? I love, 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 love this so much. Okay, so my face is dried. I don't know if it's just me, but I tried a setting spray before and afterwards I look like I run a marathon. So just a tip for the girls. Another tip that you're going to learn. See why you got to come to my lives? There's a difference between setting sprays, finishing sprays, hydrating sprays. Finishing sprays are what locks in your makeup. It's finishing spray. Locks in your makeup. Hold it into place. See, I'm going to tell y'all. Say, not just you. I have yet to try the setting spray. Girl, Sharika. You're going to love this, and you love good makeup. You can love this, okay? You can love this. Girl, you just got to use the fine girl. No. So I've, I've experienced this as well. When I At first, when I started makeup, I used to be like, what is the hype around setting sprays? Because I, after I put it on, like, I look like a grease monkey, and I have oily skin. So I was like, eh, you only got to burn me once, baby. Fool me one time, shame on you. Ain't no more, okay? So I stayed away from setting sprays for a very long time. I just would be out here with my powdery face looking like a little powder donut, and I proud, you know? But the difference between setting and finishing sprays, setting sprays are what basically melts the makeup into your skin. It meshes the layers of makeup opposed to it looking powdery or cakey. It really hydrates your makeup. So it's not meant to just put it on and just leave it. Setting sprays, you can use it throughout your application, especially if you're someone that uses a lot of um, powder. I'm not someone that uses a lot of powder, so I wouldn't necessarily have to use that throughout my application. But if you are someone that uses like a lot of powders or you do like full of coverage looks, in order to avoid your makeup look from looking cakey, using setting setting sprays throughout it melts your layers together, which gives it more like a skin-like finish, opposed to it just being like cement. 
on foundation, cement, cement, cement. No, because if you look at it, you're literally painting layers onto your skin. And if you don't mesh them together with a setting spray, you're gonna see the end product looks really heavy. And if that's not what you're going for, that's what you're gonna have. A finishing spray, on the other hand, is what locks in your makeup. This doesn't really have hydrating properties that much. And if it does, the hydrating properties really dry down or it doesn't dehydrate your makeup to the point where it looks dry. It locks in your base while it gives you a luminous shine, but it's really, its purpose is to lock your makeup and give you longevity. So it's a different difference. People use those words interchangeably, but it's not the same thing. One is to hydrate your makeup and really, really melt your makeup into place, while the other is to lock your makeup in. So you probably were using a hydrating slash setting spray. And that is why when you're done, like your makeup just looks wet. It doesn't dry down. Because as you can see, my face dried down pretty much, but I still have my radiance in the areas that I normally have them or I wanted them. Now, that is a tip. See that? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say, I just do my makeup on myself. I look fun already, but I love makeup, but I don't know how to do it. No, that's okay. And that's, and I started there too. We all will learn as we go. No one is perfect. Um, I recently shared a photo on my uh, TikTok showing how my makeup looked about 2017. And everyone could not believe me that it was me. They was like, Daria, no. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, we're going to lastly, we're going to finish this off with some lips. Let me just throw on some blush really quickly. Y'all know I love me up some blush. Just gonna apply some blush to my skin just to add some life and color back to the skin if you ain't using blush then what are you using but charlotte tilbury has some beautiful beautiful blush and lip blush blush uh products and they also have some lip kits that are to die for one of my absolute favorite lip kits of theirs is their pillow talk lip kit amazing amazing product gives you like the absolute perfect pout love it so much so now i'm just going to put on like a little plum nude mauve lip so this is a cheek to cheek cheek to cheek look how cute that sounds cheek to cheek um blush pillow talk blush it is absolutely amazing lightweight gives you such a flush of color such a beautiful flush of color on any skin tone it may look a little light there but i promise you they have other shades as well and that color right there would give you the perfect y'all know how i add a little blush to my cheeks right here it will give you the perfect doll baby pink because let me tell you another tip because you know all about the tips now if you are someone that doesn't like blush because you don't like how harsh it looks on your skin because i realize a lot of people say that you know i don't like how blush just looks like it sits on my skin it doesn't really blend well with my makeup i don't really like it don't just add one shade to your skin build dimension and that's something that i learned you can use so even this lip kit did you know that lipsticks can be used as blush i have proven it i do it all the time so this kit comes with three mini lipsticks from charlotte tilbury if you have a lip combo that you're going to do and you apply it on and you want the perfect blush color because i feel like blending i um, mixing oh matching your lips with your blush is such a crazy 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 technique and tip it has changed my makeup game all you have to do girl is take some of your lipstick, whichever one you use on the back of your hand, and you just apply that to your cheeks, and that will give you the perfect flush of color that is so cohesive to your um, lips. And if you want to take it a step further, you could do it with your eyes, but baby, I'm not about to put on green blush. But as y'all can get it, live and learn. I used to look like a ghost. Girl, stop it. Blush had to grow on me. Now I love it. It absolutely gives you such a rosiness, such an uplift to your face. It also is a form of highlighting and contouring. It definitely sculpts the face. I love highlights and blush. I love it too. Blush is like one of my favorite products. I use blush once. It was cute, but I'm not a blush girly. Tina, you, you've never been to heaven, have you? <laughs> this blush lip trio is an amazing product though. I love it. Gonna apply a lighter shade in the middle. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love, love, love this product. And I'm also going to apply a nice gloss to the center. Just to tone it down. This would also look good like a brown lip, but this soft pink lip moment is doing a little, it's doing a little something for me. I'm gonna add a liner just to really control my lips. And that's something I feel like everyone should know about. Charlotte Tilbury also has some amazing lip liners, but you just apply some. Especially as a darker skinned woman. It's important that we add liner around our lips to give us some control. <laughs> because you know. 
if you got some juicy lips and you don't want it to look like it's out of control it's giving me like christmas it's literally giving me christmas so i'm gonna let y'all vote really really quickly out of the two things i think the trios are my favorite because they are so versatile i love makeup that works for me i love making makeup work for me so if i have a blush if i have a lipstick that i could also use as a blush baby i'm gonna use that yes ma'am yes ma'am okay and one last spray of our setting spray i always do two layers of setting spray when i'm doing my makeup just to finish this off to really lock that in to really melt everything together to really give us some serious cold so when we out tonight we're gonna be looking real cute it's giving Christmas to me. It's really giving Christmas. I'm not going to use my fan again because why not? Just to melt it in. And we're all dried. And I just want y'all to look how well my skin still is. How my skin held its integrity throughout this entire thing. I don't look oily. I look extremely, extremely dewy. And if you don't, like for me, I love a dewy look like i love it but if you're not a dewy person after you applied your last layer of settings where you can simply go in with a mattifying powder and just apply it right in the areas that you want to have more of a matte look and i would do that like even my eyebrows put it here under my eyes under hair and my chin and i keep the integrity of my glow hair hair and everywhere else i want to be glowy so that was the end of our get ready with me with charlotte tibri's products prepping with charlotte tibri's products I hope you learned something new tonight. I hope, you know, it was informative. I hope you learned some tips and some tricks. I hope you saw some products that you're definitely going to cop after this session. I have a discount code for y'all. Only people that are in this session has access to this code. You can use Daria CT15 for 15% off additional to, I mean, on your purchases. So, yes, I learned plenty. Yes, I love that. I love that. You sold me. Yes, Daria CT15 for anything that you want to purchase off their website. That is an exclusive code to my girls who came to my live tonight. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all 100%. Um, and yeah, just let me know how was it? What did you learn? You know, could, do you want another live? Can you not wait? What else would you like to see from these lives? Do you want to see more eyes? Do you see, want to see more base products? Do you want to see more lip products? Like, what is it that you want to see? Let me know. Look what hubby getting me for Christmas. Tell him, girl, go get that card. Go get that card, girl. Get that card. <laughs> More eyes, definitely. I love to do a good eye look. I like a full get ready. Me. So you want me to start from the brows straight down. Girl, I want to see it all. Definitely, definitely. I would love to do that with y'all. Y'all know I love hopping on here and getting ready with y'all at any point. And I love how we could just sit, chat, and talk inside the chat while I'm doing my makeup. And I want y'all to, you know, to put me on. If y'all have any techniques, even though I am a makeup artist, there's always so much learning you can do. And I know y'all got some tips under y'all belt that y'all just ain't trying to share with me. Y'all ain't want to share with me. Eyes and brows, like a full get ready with me. Definitely, definitely. Anyway, I want to say thank you all so much for coming out. You know what I want to, as you should, queen. You know what? You deserve everything in life. Everything in life, you deserve, Tina. That for you. <laughs> so, so much for coming on. I appreciate y'all 100%. Um, this is the first of many more lives to come. I know y'all love to get ready with me. I love doing with y'all. And I will definitely, definitely be updating y'all on our next one. Remember, Daria CT15. Look at little balloons. Daria CT15 for 15% off any of your Charlotte Tilbury purchases. And do enjoy. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. Bye.